Businessman and former De Beers chairperson Nikki Oppenheimer says the use of coal for power generation cannot go away immediately. Speaking to ACBC News Economics editor Tsepo Mongai, Oppenheimer says the country must look at other sustainable energy sources along with coal. The reason we are in conversation with uh, former DBS chairperson Nikki Oppenheimer is one of his initiatives, the Oppenheimer Research Conference, will be taking place over the next couple of days to discuss research in biodiversity, preserving the environment, and, and really making sure that we leave this world a better place. Uh, Mr. Oppenheimer, thank you very much uh, for your time. Uh, just tell us a little bit about this conference. Well, the Oppenheimer family has been into conservation for as long as we've been around. And it's become ever more important. You only have to see climate change happening now and what's going on in the world. And conservation and the science behind it is hugely important. We here in South Africa have, I think, a huge advantage because we're so, we've been at conservation for so long that we're really very good at it. And we've got so much to tell and to explain and interact with the rest of the world. We know um, in South Africa in particular, we are dealing with um, a lot of mining activity that spent for many years, and many of them have not been rehabilitated, posing a huge risk to the environment and to many South Africans. Uh, are you also gonna look into that? Now, obviously rehabilitation of old mining areas is hugely important. And there's legislation which requires miners to do that. But that's just a, a small part of what conservation is about. Conservation is about saving the world. And uh, as Jonathan w said when he was talking earlier this evening to the press downstairs, conservation really can save the world and the science behind it is so important. But it has to be practical science and that's what we're promoting. As the Oppenheimer family, uh, what do you think needs to be done in order for you to um, invest in, in, in this renewable energy? No, that, uh, it, it's uh, government's duty to create an environment to attract investors. And obviously sustainable generation of electricity is hugely important as coal powered, which has stood us in good stead in the past, but it's a dirty form of uh, power and it comes from a, a diminishing resource. Every ton of coal you take out of the earth is a ton less, while the sun and the wind and whatever else of a sustainable nature you can find is always there. Mr. Oppenheimer, in your views, do you think that um, there's still an opportunity to use fossil fuel given our current energy crisis, uh, that we need to continue using it up until we have completely dealt with the current um, energy uh, constraints? No, obviously it has to be a mix and match that goes on. South Africa in the past has always relied on fossil fuels for its uh, generation of electricity and of power. That can't go away immediately. But quite clearly, when we look at the world today, you've got to look at other uh, alternatives, which over time will come to, su to supersede coal. Mm. What do you think needs to be done? Uh, you know, in, if, if you advise, if you are asked to advise government in, in, in dealing with the current energy crisis, what, what would you be your, your advice to them? No, it's incumbent on the government, as I said earlier, to create an environment to attract investors. And that's not a difficult thing to do. Uh, you can, can, there are many experts who will tell you what you need to do to create that environment which will result in people coming in and investing in that sector. It's not difficult. It requires energy and determination. In our neighboring country in Botswana, um, we have seen that government has been pushing for a larger share of the uh, production of um, sales of diamonds. Um, and, and they've been quite successful in doing that. And I'm sure you've been observing that. What's your view about that? Now, you've got to realize I've we had no connection with the diamond business for well over a decade now. So actually, I don't know. Uh, but I've always seen Botswana as a great success story in Africa, built on its diamond resources. And the government's success there and the success of Botswana is how they've spent the money that they've earned from their diamonds in their country. And uh, what they've done in uh, infrastructure, schools, universities, railways, roads, I think could be a lesson to many people in Africa.
Mr. Oppenheimer, thank you very much uh, for your time and all the best with your conference. Thank you very much. There you have it. Uh, that's the Nikki Oppenheimer. He is the former DBS chairperson. And of course, they'll be hosting a three-day conference, the Oppenheimer Research Conference, that will really looking at the issue of environment and how to preserve the environment. There will be speakers from all over the world uh, discussing um, conservation.